This video will show you how to assemble another type of roof support for your log cabin. Open the log cabin you have. As you can see in this version there are three of these triangular parts. The one in the middle should not have pins. You can use this to create another window on another level for instance. While holding the control key, click and drag one of these longer logs out. This will create a second copy of that log inside the assembly. Mate this log to the top of the roof supports as shown. Also mate it to the pins to lock it into position. Click OK when you have done so to exit out of inserting mates. Go to your design library. Click on pins and insert pins that are 10 millimeters long. Mate these pins into the holes of the log at the top. Mate the bottom face of the pin to the top face of the previous pin as shown. Then mate the cylindrical surfaces. Now that you have mated your first pin into place, you can also mate the top faces of the remaining pins to the first pin. Now that all the pins are in place, Exit out of Insert Mates. Go back to the design library and under Roof Parts insert the quadrilateral part or the part that looks like this. Mate the top surface of this log to the bottom surface of these parts. Then mate the pins to the holes in these parts. Rotate this around using a parallel mate and you might need to flip it. Click OK when you have done so and do this for the other parts. Next go into the design library. Go back to pins and insert the 15mm tall pins. If this message pops up just click on yes. Control click on the pin and drag it out. You'll need to mate these pins to these quadrilateral parts as shown. When you have done this, your assembly should look like this. Notice that there are no pins sticking out of the roof supports in the middle. Save this assembly. If you have a more complicated log cabin assembly, there is another way you can use these roof supports. Go into your design library and click on roof parts. Import two of these triangular parts. Mate them to the top surface of these logs as shown. And now just do the same for the other part. Click OK when you have done so. Go back to your design library. 
on the pins, pick the 15 mm long pin. You will just need two of these. Mate the cylindrical faces as shown. Now just do the same with the other pin. Once you have done this, exit out of inserting mates. You will use these pins to create a linear pattern. Click on one of the pins and then click on Linear Pattern in the Assembly tab. For the direction, pick this edge as shown. Choose 28 for the distance between instances and choose 4 for the number of instances. SOLIDWORKS will show you a preview. Just click OK. Now repeat this for the other pin. Click on the pin. Click on Linear Component Pattern. Choose this edge for the direction and click OK. SOLIDWORKS will remember the last numbers you input into your assembly and use those for the next linear component pattern. Go into your design library and import pins that are 10 mm long and 20 mm long. Using a combination of these pins, fill in these holes. Once you have done so, your assembly should look like this. Then, save your assembly.